Hello, today we're going to start talking about parabolas. So basically, the graph of a quadratic function makes a U shape. And use it in quotation marks because I want you to look really quick. So this is the shape that I'm talking about. And you can see that it's kind of U shaped. It's also kind of almost V shaped. But what happens as it gets higher, it starts getting closer and closer to being straight up and down but it never quite becomes straight up and down. And you'll notice that it's always rounded at the bottom like this. And we're gonna talk a lot about just some general characteristics today. So the U shape, and it's technically called a parabola. So Y equals X squared is the parent graph, which is the very, very basic form of the graph. And then other graphs, are transformations of that parent graph. So there might be things like if you add one to it, it makes a whole graph move up one. And if you have numbers in front of the x squared, then those different numbers can make the graph look different. And so the U shape may look thin. You'll notice once again, these are in quotation marks because it's not a technical term, kind of a generic term. So the U shape might look a little thinner or a little wider. It might open up, or it might open down, or it might just be moved on the graph. So instead of being, so for instance this one, instead of being right there, it might just get moved over like that. So just depending on the different numbers that are in the equation. And some general characteristics, parabolas are symmetrical, which means that there's basically a line that goes down the center, and on each side of that line, they look identical, right? Except they're opposite from each other. And that line is called the axis of symmetry. And it divides the parabola in half. And then the vertex is the point at the bottom of the U, or the top of the U if it's upside down. And basically, so this would be the axis. Let me find a color that shows up a little better. Let's say that this is the axis of symmetry, going right down the center. You can see that it looks the same on each side. And then the vertex would be right here. And so it's the very lowest point, or the very, high, very highest point, if it's upside down. Okay, and today we're just going to focus on the vertex and the axis of symmetry. You can actually find it visually, so we're not even dealing with equations today, just looking at it visually. So. Just imagine, go ahead and draw really quick, a little dotted line going right down the center, and then put a little dot down there. And so that's where that dot is, is the vertex. And to find the coordinates, start at zero, zero, see how far you go left? So you go one left, and then you go down nine. So it's negative one, negative nine. Make that a little bit neater. And then the axis of symmetry is an actual line, and you're going to say x equals, and whatever, wherever it hits the x-axis, so right here it hits negative 1, is going to be that axis of symmetry. And notice that the vertex, the x in the vertex and the axis of symmetry are the same number, so that can also help you get these done quickly. Okay, so vertex, just find that point at the very top or the very bottom, and then draw your quick little dotted line. And notice that we go 2 to the left and then up 9. So 2 to the left is negative 2, up 9 is positive 9. And the axis of symmetry is always right there, the same x value as the vertex. Okay, got our, got our axis of symmetry going down here, and we also have our vertex. So our vertex is over 5, down 4. And our axis of symmetry is right at x equals 5. All right, last example. So look for that, where we can draw that line that's right in the middle. That is the axis of symmetry, x equals 1. And the vertex is that dot right there, right where it changes direction. So to get to that dot, you go over 1, up 3, which means 1, 3. Alright, that's it for today. So on your assignment, you'll be given 
a graph and you're just going to name the vertex and the axis of symmetry. Let me know if you have any questions.